Hello everybody and welcome to the Greater Fort Walton Beach Chamber Business Forum here on Cox Channel 6. We're glad you're joining us today. My name is Mark Hamrick. I own the Vacuum Center here in Fort Walton Beach and it's my privilege to serve as a chair of the board for the Fort Walton Beach Chamber this year. Uh, as usual, we've got three special guests today and we're going to start off with Mr. Sammy Shelton. He is the owner of Four Seasons AC uh, Heating and Refrigeration. Sammy, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, Four Seasons is a longtime chamber member. Uh, I would guess uh, 20 plus years at the chamber. Absolutely. And they are our official uh, AC company down at the chamber building on Highway 98 and they do a great job. So um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's talk about Four Seasons. Well, Four Seasons was started in 1983 by my father, Sam Shelton. Um, been in locally family operated business for that long. Um, we really do all facets of mechanical. We get through uh, service, residential, houses, commercial, new construction, commercial, residential, um, full sheet metal shop. We have an assortment of different angles that we actually try to use in our industry, such as um, ventilation, filters, uh, electronic air cleaners, programmable thermostats, you name it, we, we have a full facet of be able to do whatever needs to be done. So, so it's, there, it's almost like there's, there's smaller businesses under one roof. Absolutely, we have actually five different divisions. We have a service department, we have new construction, commercial, new construction, residential, a full sheet metal shop that does custom sheet metal work, flashings, gutterings, countertops, whatever you can name. And then we have the, our residential replacement market at the same time. So what, uh, what's, what's the, what the biggest part of the business? Is there, is there a certain part, that, or, does, or does that run in? Um, it, they all intertwine with one another. Um, years ago, it would have been more so of the commercial was big. You're talking 10 years ago. Right. Um, commercial is now a little um, less than it used to be. Um, I would have to say our residential market service is, is where, where our, our majority of our workload is. And, and I guess this is an obvious question, but now that we're into summer, uh -huh. temperatures are up, <laughs> is, that, is that a big spike for your company? That is a major spike for us. Um, we have had opportunities to do two or three installs a day. Um, and we run 24 hour service for all residential and commercial properties. Nobody checks to see if their AC is working in December. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Uh, um, we, we try to implement our maintenance programs um, for those individuals where we come out twice a year to be able to maintain during the winter and the summer seasons. Um, you know, we really recommend that because you don't want to wake up and go, oh, uh, what's wrong? You know, why is it so hot in my house? Well, and that, that seems like a smart thing to do. You know, uh, when it does get warm and you turn your AC, it's gonna work. Absolutely. And if you've done the maintenance program and it doesn't, they're probably gonna get first on your list. Um, they have there. priority service, yes they do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's great, I, I, didn't, I didn't know you had all those different categories mm -hmm. under one roof. Yes, yeah. Um, I, uh, for, I wanna ask you how business is, but before I do that, I know we've, <clears throat> as a business owner myself, we've all, we've all gone through a few, um, rough years, I guess is the Trial best way to put it. Yes, uh, yes. This, this economy has been, uh, been rough on most people. Mm -hmm. I don't know of anybody it hasn't affected, um, <clears throat> some more than others, but uh, I, I know that it's, uh, it, it's been rough yeah, it on has. most people. And I know that, and what brought this to my mind was, was your, your commercial end. Mm -hmm. uh, and we talked about a little mm -hmm. off camera. It was almost like it fell out. It just, it building, just stopped. Building came to a standstill. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. you just you couldn't find anybody building anything, and and now you drive around and and just over in my part of town there where the vacuum center is, mm -hmm. and I live right across the street there. There must be six or seven homes going up right there in a in a just a small. Absolutely, radius. there's a lot more residential markets now. People are, are instead of building new, they're demolishing and rebuilding, or they're taking something that's 30, 40, 50 years old and adding to it, which. We have to be involved in that because you have to heat and cool that particular space. And uh, for the market, it has been really rough the last three, three to four years. Certainly, yeah, it really has. Um, and, and your point about people 
demolishing and rebuilding. Mm -hmm. That's all good for you and, and a lot of other people. Absolutely, you know, yeah. You got electricians, cabinets. plumbers, cabinets, you Flooring, name it. The whole, the whole facet. Landscaping, yes. it all. Yes. That, and Absolutely. all that's local money staying in the yep. local area. But, but to your point, uh, I agree with you 100%. If you drive around Fort Walton Beach, you don't see a lot of empty lots in Fort Walton Beach. No, you're not going to see there's hardly any. There's not much any. land here. No, there's not. And that goes back to the whole rebuild or, or addition. Right. Um, so so uh, from from your perspective, businesses, it is coming back. It's Absolutely. In my opinion, business is coming back. We've actually done very well this year. Um, the first part of the year was real rough, of course, because we came out of 12. Correct. But uh, um, I'm seeing great, great growth and in, 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 in good prosperity when it comes to other markets in conjunction with just air conditioning, you know, so I, I have a good feeling that it's going to be good this year. That's good. And, and I feel the same way. And everybody I have on this show that owns a business or runs a business, I talk to them about business and yeah. how it's going because yeah. we've all we've all been on the same ride. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and everybody says the same thing. It's, it's headed in the right it's, direction. It's definitely headed in the right direction. It, uh, it's not going fast enough, but at least it's going no, the right way. <laughs> no, it's definitely, it needs to be a little more there, but you know, we, we'll, we'll take what we that's get. That's awesome. I'm yeah. glad. And that's, uh, that's great. Glad you're doing good. Um, before we run out of time in this segment, I want to ask you a question that I always try to ask a question that I think the viewers might want to know, and it's uh, duck cleaning. Is, is, do you do duck cleaning? Is duck cleaning necessary? That's a question I've had people bring up. Is that? There is there's a lot of opinions on duck cleaning, and I've got one myself. Um, no, we do not do duck cleaning. Okay. I've looked at it. It is a very profitable um, uh, business to be in, but there's a lot of liability side of it as well. The duck board that we have has got a glue adhesive, and it's glass. It's duck board. It's fiberglass. Right. And if you beat that stuff over and over and over, you loosen the fibers in that duck, and where do they go? Into the house. So um, I'm not a fan of duck cleaning. I, I do um, push people to certain uh, companies that do do it, but uh, I always give them an option of replacing um, versus uh, versus right. trying to clean. I know there's over the years there's been a lot of controversy about there has, there and it can, there it can, uh, some scams and other stuff going on. Yeah. So I, you're a professional. I just wanted to get your opinion yeah. on that. Good. So um, we're doing residential. We're doing commercial. Uh, everything's going good. Yeah. Yeah. I have uh, 24 full-time employees. Six of them are actually service-based technicians. They have 24-hour service. Um, you can call at any point of the day or night. Um, there's no overtime fees. Um, you know, it's just, it's just something that we've offered. My father started, you know, back in 83, and we try to just hold on to that. That's great. Well, I appreciate you being here. Thank you. I I've appreciate your chamber here. membership. We appreciate all the work you do for us. And, folks, if you need any air condition uh, service, repair, replacement, uh, Four Seasons AC, that's the place to go. The information is on the screen. Call Sammy Sheldon down there. We'll take care of it. Sammy, thank, thank you, you for much, being sir. here. Take care. Thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Jeff Peters from the city of Fort Walton Beach and Lisa Captain from Cumulus Radio.